All right, all new tonight. A family's fight after their five-year-old son is issued a restraining order. It's why they called Help Me Howard with Patrick Frazier. The Delaney's love children. <laughs> yeah, blended Brady ones. Michael and Brittany were single with their own kids when they met. After getting married, they had two more children, giving them five now. Yeah, we're very blessed to have them all. One child came from Michael's previous relationship with a former girlfriend. And now an accusation from his ex has left the Delaney's stunned. I knew she was going to do something, but... I just didn't know it was going to be something like this. Michael says his ex is not happy that he has shared custody of their son and called DCF, claiming when her three-year-old son came for a visit at the Delaney's, he was being sexually abused by Brittany's five-year-old son. Are you saying that a five-year-old and a two-year-old is having a sexual situation? The police then showed up. They basically said they had a restraining order against my five-year-old son. First, I was just in shock. I started crying. You know, just to know that my son is being attacked. The temporary restraining order has been extended and in effect now for eight months. I'm hurt. I'm disappointed in the legal system. It's just preposterous that a five-year-old could have a restraining order. DCF did come in to determine if the ex's claims were true. They came in. They investigated all of our kids. They, there was nothing to hide. We were fine with it. The report turned out great. In addition to the accusations against the five-year-old, Michael's ex also accused him of slamming their three-year-old against a tree. All allegations are all lies. But Michael and Brittany say the accusations had the effect the ex wanted. Michael's three-year-old son cannot come to be with the rest of their family anymore. She's using the restraining order to keep my husband and my family, you know, apart. A five-year-old, of course, has no idea what a restraining order is about. All he knows is he can't see his stepbrother. I missed you, and I wish you could come back. Well, Howard, can a five-year-old be involved in a restraining order? Yes, you can issue a restraining order to keep a five-year-old away from a three-year-old, but a five-year-old cannot be held accountable for their actions. So the order is issued against the parent on behalf of the minor to keep the five-year-old away from the three-year-old. If the order is violated, the five-year-old would not be blamed. It would be the parent. We contacted Michael's ex. She told us she was dismissing the restraining order after her attorney told her to do it, but she was not happy about it. She's also allowing her three-year-old to visit Michael again for day visits at the Delaney house while they continue to battle in court over custody. When we told her that Delaney said she made up the claims about the five-year-old to get full custody of the three-year-old, she said that's absolutely not true. No one would do that to their children. My son is left with this on his record. So am I, because he's a minor. So this was filed under my name as well. Fighting to defend the five-year-old has cost the Delaney's emotionally and financially. We've re refinanced our home because we cannot even afford to pay for the, for the attorney's fees, but we had no choice because we have to fight for our kids. Now, unfortunately, it's not uncommon for a parent to make accusations in a child custody battle, but they better be careful because a false claim of sexual abuse to DCF is a felony and you can get five years in prison. Childish behavior by someone left you in a mess? Don't restrain yourself. Contact us because we're one big family of helpers. With well, this help me, Howard and Patrick Frazier, 7